Our next guest uses Watson. You know who Watson is, of course. If you've listened to this show in the last several years, we've talked about Watson a lot. And Watson helps companies make sense of all the data generated by the Internet of Things. Certainly another topic we discuss on a regular basis on Into Tomorrow. The global head of Watson IoT, she's in charge of the world for Watson IoT with IBM, is Harriet Green. Harriet, welcome Into Tomorrow. How are you? I'm very fine, and thank you for inviting me to talk with you. It's a real pleasure. It's, it's our pleasure because you were one of the most spectacular keynote speakers here at IFA and we said we have got to get her because not only are, are you, you have fun and a passion for what you do and what you talk about but being a keynote speaker you're in demand and we got you. And I think the only keynote speaker wearing a dress. That's a good point. Yeah. Although one of the guys, no, I, don't oh, think, oh, I, think, okay. I think it was a suit. Yeah, I'm not sure. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, I love you already, Harriet. Uh, this, this whole Internet of Things, we've talked on the air for the last couple of years, what a goofy name it seems like, IoT, the Internet of Things. And, but yet, it's true, it's exactly how it best describes this whole Absolutely. Internet of Things. How is it that Watson, I'm assuming Watson is this big computer that beats the world's famous chess players and, and helps heart surgeons and does everything that humans can't think fast enough, is now very involved in IoT as well. Absolutely, so you already know a lot about it, but let me just connect the two Please. and say why they are so mutually symbiotic. So the Internet of Things uh, is really giving the physical world eyes and ears. Oh. So, you know, digitizing that physical world, pretty much everything becomes a computer, whether it's a contact lens, a railway track, a hospital bed, a car, a car, <laughs> yeah. exactly. And wow. out of all of this connection, us to things, things to things, become, uh, comes an enormous amount of data. Mm. And these are, it's not just structured data, data that you could put into a computer. It's noise, it's sound, it's photographs, it's pictures, it's video, it's live stream. It's so much information, it's, it's so hard much to us to, for it, us to process. In fact, uh, in the last two years, we as a species, the human race, have created more information than in our entire history. And there's a new little term for you that you might want to use. It's a brontobite. The brontobite is a billion times every grain of sand on this planet. And in 10 years, that's how much data we will create. So the importance wow. of Watson, this cognitive capability, this, this ability is to really crunch all of the data to be able to uh, uh, share back correlations, information in real time, natural language. So without Watson, we would not be able to help companies make sense of their data and turn it into information. So it's an amazing marriage. Wow, it certainly is. And this is a, a Bronto bite, you said? A Bronto bite. Bronto bite. Yeah, wow. that's how much data yeah. they believe we will create in the next 10 years as things talk to things, talk to people. And how do you make sense of that? What's important data? So to your point, if Watson can learn oncology, then what's can, Watson can help help us and help our clients use the data that's most relevant to them. Yeah, because a lot of that data probably doesn't make a difference, but a lot of it also might be so critical to product development and whether it's in the medical field or any field. I'm imagining now that the, the whole uh, scenario with, with you heading up this Watson IoT team uh, can help consumer electronics companies to not only maybe market their product, but be make better products to Absolutely. serve us consumers more efficiently. And to make human lives that much more pleasurable or interesting today, as we talked about with Whirlpool and new capabilities, new uh, uh, um, data that makes the products even more amazing, mm -hmm. uh, Panasonic and the safety, the lovely Nokia example with elder care, Braggy, the most amazing new headphones. So it's also about the consumer being happier, having more enjoyable uh, lives. And the, the awesome keynote that you did here at IFA, the, the whole theme was... Did the, you like that? 
that. I loved it. And, Thank and you. I noticed you were the only one in a dress, as far as I knew. Uh, the Internet of Things, changing the way we live. So, That's of course, right. that means IBM is really fitting into changing our life in many ways. And that's not new to IBM. No, of 105 not. years. Doing. Think about helping to put men on the moon, inventing LASIK, uh, eye surgery, that metallic strip, uh, the coffee machine, six. Uh, IBM uh, did all these things? IBM did all these things. Isn't well, that it's, amazing? it's kind of like NASA. <laughs> you know, I mean, really, with, you know, with, if, if it wasn't, if exactly, Partner. if it wasn't for NASA, we would not have some of the conveniences of modern day life. Many. Absolutely. I didn't know that, that IBM and Invented LASIK, for example, Absolutely. and I've had that. Oh, thank, really? Thank you very much. It's May I thank you? my great pleasure. Oh, your, your eyes are looking sparkly. <laughs> oh, you're the best. I love it. But that's a great example. Mm -hmm. But for many, many years, how IBM is so involved, not just B2B, as we say, business exactly. to business, but also in the long run, helping all of us as consumers. Absolutely. It's B2B to B2C to mm -hmm. and affecting the way people live. So thank you. Oh, it's my pleasure. Uh, and again, Please tell me you'll be on the show next time, whenever we can get you. Will you be at CES, for example, in January? I, I will be. I was at CES in February ah. as well, and so I look forward to uh, us reconvening our chat. That would be awesome. It'll be our 22nd year at CES, and I would love nothing you more than to have, have you back. You must have started when you were 14. Oh, I love this lady. Harriet, <laughs> you are so sweet. Harriet Greed is the global head of Watson IoT, as in Internet of Things. IBM.com, of course, for more info of what Harriet and her team and all the others that IBM are doing. We'll link you there, too, when you visit us at intotomorrow.com. Thank you again so much for joining us. And, and uh, enjoy the rest of IFA. We will. Thank you so much. I'm Dave Graveline. We continue from IFA in Berlin, Germany. I'm Dave Graveline right here on the Advanced Media Network.